Hello everyone. Welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today's video is on a fascinating diagonal Sudoku uh, that has been taken from the Sudoku Grand Prix Round 1. This, uh, for this round, the grids were created by authors from the Dutch. It was an excellent round, a hard one. <clears throat> and this uh, diagonal Sudoku has a really, really interesting solve. This particular Sudoku was created by Mark Sweep. And uh, I hope you find this video entertaining and uh, enjoyable. It uses a really unique trick that you don't get to see in diagonal Sudokus. If you solve maybe 20, 25 Sudokus, you will see maybe one uh, Sudoku which uses such a trick. So please stay tuned until the end of this video. Uh, so let's start the Sudoku now. <clears throat> Classic rules apply, so each row, each column and 3x3 three three box in the grid has digits 1 to 9 without any repetition. And each of these dotted lines that you see in the grid, starting from top left to bottom right and top right to bottom left also has digits 1 to 9. As you can see there are exactly 9 cells on each of the diagonals and these also take uh, digits from 1 to 9 exactly once. So, um, the trick that I was referring to, I did not get to use this during the contest because uh, under timed constraint, constraints, it's very difficult to use such tricks. Uh, so, I guess multiple times and I somehow finished this Roku. Uh, I understood the trick post contest and uh, although I don't remember the exact specifics, I have a fair idea of how to solve this Roku now. So, let's start the Roku. 8's in columns 1 and 2, so I get 8 in one of these two cells. And continuing with the 8's, I get an 8 here. And... Uh, okay, 8 must be in one of these three cells in row 1. And now we have an interesting uh, idea that uses the diagonal. Look at this diagonal. <coughs> And see where the 8 goes on the diagonal. These two cells can't take 8. And these 3 cells, in addition to these 3 cells, are straight away ruled out. So there is exactly 1 cell. So 8 goes here. <clears throat> and now 8 in box 8 has to go in one of these 2 cells. Which removes the 8 here. So that gives 8 in the other diagonal as well. So you can't resolve these 2 8s yet. Uh, let's look at a different digit now, maybe 2's, there are quite a few 2's in the grid, 2 must go in one of these 2 cells and if you look a step further, in the top right to bottom left diagonal, there is exactly these 3 cells left for the 2, which means 2 has to go here. And uh, extending that further, 2 goes in this domino here, which puts a 2 in row 3 just following up on the deduction and in column 7 2 has exactly 2 cells left <clears throat> okay now if you look at the other diagonal top left to bottom right there is exactly this cell left for the 2 so that takes a 2 now and uh, which means in row 9 I'll have exactly 2 cells for this 2 which again can't be resolved yet so 2's are done <laughs> So up until this point, there's not much difficulty in the Sudoku, but it progressively gets harder. In column 5, 2 must be in one of these two cells. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I don't think there's much that you can do with the 7s. Uh, so let me see a different digit, maybe, okay, fours. If you look at this diagonal, where does the four go? In that diagonal, there's exactly one cell left, four goes here. And now we uh, four is eliminated from all these cells, which means four has to go here. So that puts four in one of these cells and that gives an instant four here. Excellent. Now four in row six must go in one of these two cells. Okay, and 4 in box 7 must have exactly these two cells 
can't be here and it cannot be here so just these two cells left and 4 in column 6 by sudoku goes in these two cells and these remaining 4s that you see in boxes 4, 7 and 8 can't yet be resolved so let's look for something else now maybe by value candidates uh, or perhaps even some other digits that you can try to play 6 Ah, 6 goes in one of these two cells. 6 can't be here, so that puts 6 in this area. And 6 is not in here or not in here, which means 6 is in this area. Okay. Okay, very interesting. These three cells don't take 6 and these three cells don't take 6, so which means these three cells will have to take a 6 for this uh, diagonal and you can't have six here so six goes here excellent now i don't have a six here i don't have a six here so six goes here that's beautiful that places six in here which places six in one of these two cells six can't be here so six goes here excellent and now look at this diagonal that needs to take a six and very quickly you'll see that there is only one cell left six has to be here that places the final six in the grid so these are all the easy stuff, you know, I, would, I should say that in double quotes, easy stuff. But still, there are uh, many tricky stuff, uh, steps in the uh, Sudoku, which you are going to sh see shortly. So let's just start doing that now. Mm, look at column 8. Let's do some pencil marking. 2, 6, 8, 4 and 7. So this will be 1, 5. This would be 1359. There is a reason I'm making four candidates in this cell. I normally don't make four candidates, but you will see why I'm doing that. 1359 and 13519. Okay. Now let's look at column two. You have 24368. So 1579. So this is 159. Uh, 159. And these would be sevens. Uh, there must be seven in one of these two cells. Okay. Right. Let me see before doing that okay we have some more uh, stuff that we can could do here five is not in these cells so five is put in this domino there is already an eight in this domino which means there is a five eight pair right and that leaves exactly one cell for the two two goes here which pushes the two in here which gives an eight in here which gives an eight in here which gives a five in here so this becomes a one four pair 1457268 so let's mark the 3 in inside 3939 three, nine. and you have a 9 here so that's a 3 and that's a 9 56791248 so this would be a 3 excellent that removes the 3 here so 159 finishing off column 4 with the 1 here so this would be 59 579 and 579 excellent now, if you look at row 3, the two digits left out are 7 and 9. And 1 here removes the 1 from this cell, so that's a 5, 9. This will be a 5, 7, 9. Okay. Alright. So, this is where the Sudoku starts getting highly interesting and also uh, tougher. So, up until this point, I just coasted through the Sudoku and I was... Uh, agonizingly stuck at this point i could not see the logic i used lots of things to eliminate stuff but it wasn't useful but ultimately i lost patience as time was running out and i just guessed and took quite a while to complete the sudoku so one thing to realize in the grid at this point is this is a general trick a very very useful trick in any diagonal sudoku these five cells taken together will have five distinct digits i mean all these digits will be uh, none of the two digits from these five cells will be same as one other you will see how and not only these five cells you can extend it up one cell further even these five cells have to be all distinct and similarly these five cells also have to be all distinct and it's quite easy to see why you can consider any cell in these uh, you can say star shape right it's not exactly a star shape but kind of some uh, 
right you can put an x over that so let's say we consider this cell it cannot be repeating in any of these two cells because of the diagonal rule and it cannot repeat in any of these two cells because of the um, sudoku rule so let's put all these in green so at this point i should have used the idea that these four cells form a quadruple right one three five nine quadruple and you will notice that this contains five seven or nine so because there is a quadruple here and all these five cells take distinct values this cannot be five or a nine what a step guys really this has to be seven what a beautiful step unbelievable right i really enjoyed uh, getting to know this trick post contest so which means this will be seven nine and mind you this sudoku is still not trivial there is quite a few steps left so which we are going to see in a while so we get a five nine here and one five nine triplet now in column two so that gives the final uh, seven in column two here excellent and now let's continue along seven in these two cells so we get seven in uh, these two cells and seven cannot repeat on the diagonal seven goes here and that puts seven in here in column nine because seven can't be here and that puts a nine in here which means this is a one five uh, okay now two six three seven eight nine so this will be one four or five for the row so where do we go let's look at row nine two five six eight four seven so i need one three and nine let's put that in this is not a nine so that's a one and three okay and now let's finish off this uh diagonal in terms of pencil mark so this would be one three five because i have four six seven eight and a two so and also nine is eliminated so this is one three and five so which means 9 must be in one of these two cells. All right. And this will be uh, 135. Oops. Uh, because when you look at row 1, you have 2, 8, 9, 4, and 6. And you also have a 7 here. So this is 1, 3, and 5. And again, again the same trick, guys. Look at this. This step is absolutely gorgeous. Let's mark this also in red. Right? Now, these five cells also take distinct digits. You have a 1, 3, 5 triplet here, which means this guy cannot be 1 and 3. How absolutely gorgeous. How delightful, really. The author had intentionally made use of this step. This is no coincidence. And if you don't use this step, it's very, very difficult to solve this puzzle logically. And uh, that partly explains the surprise I had. Even after putting so many digits, I was uh, dumbfounded. Could not continue in the Sudoku. I did not see this trick at all during the contest. So, which means now this cell has to be a 9. This is a 1, 3 and 5. This is 1, 3, 5. Okay. So, 9 goes in one of these two cells. Okay. Ah, you have a 9 here, so that is not a 9, that's 1 and 3. So I can remove 1 from these cells. This will be 4, 5 and 9. Okay. And now, uh, 3 goes in one of these two cells. Right, okay. So perhaps we can use these color, uh, remove these colors off now because I think their job is done. So let's remove the colors and also these. Okay. So whatever goes in here must be here, right? Ah, you have a five nine pair, which means this is a one. That's no more a one three five nine. This is a three five, and this is a three five. Okay. Now I have a 359 triplet in column 8. So this is a 1. That's a 35. That's a 4. That's a 1. That 4 gives me a 5 here, a 9 here, a 4 here. Now the floodgates are out. The 9 removes the 9 from this cell. 35. And 5 here gives me a 3 here, which produces a 1 here, 3 here, and wrappers are thrown all around. 
in actor joy so three removes the three from the cell this is five this is three this five gives a nine that nine gives a five and that five gives a three one three along this diagonal there is only one digit left so this is a five oops d that's a five two three five six four seven eight so one goes here and nine goes here and let's finish off this area seven and five so one and nine are the left out cells so four here is forced into this cell this is a seven let's put one nine in here and two four nine six seven eight so i need one three and five so five goes here five goes here nine goes here nine goes here one goes here one goes in here and three goes here and that finishes off this delightful sudoku by uh, mark sweep if you see uh, the top solvers would have found this technique instantly because it's kind of ingrained into their brain on uh, to see this uh, idea that all these five cells have to be distinct hopefully this video will help you remember this trick for a long 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 time and, and you never forget this trick at all all these five cells that i marked all contain distinct digits and they really help you complete this sudoku so do share your thoughts on the sudoku under the video and remember to subscribe to the channel we'll be really motivated to see you subscribing so until we see you again with the video take care bye bye